you're going to see how to easily remove a driver's side or passenger car door and hinges on a Chrysler 300 or Dodge Magnum specifically. However, the process is similar for other cars as well. First, please subscribe below so you'll learn other repair guides, tips, and tricks, and how to fix your car yourself for free. Quickly, I'll show you all the tools you'll need and leave them in the description below. A torque wrench, breaker bar, ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, deep, and a short 13 millimeter, possibly an extension, or some vehicles use a T50 Torx bit. You'll also need a lifting device or holding device, such as a jack or stand to hold up the door to support the weight when, once you take off the, the door. There are four bolts you need to remove. One here, one there, one there, and one right there. Notice that the studs, these stems right here, are on the ones on the very bottom and the other ones on the very top. Regardless, you'll be using a 13 millimeter socket to remove this. Right here, I'm going to pull it off. Might have to use a prying piece. Then go ahead and pull this out. I'm using a door trim pry tool. You can use that. Just slowly push it out on all sides. Screwdriver, and then if my hands to will it free, you can get to the clips on the back and unpull them. Just squeeze right here and pull it out. I need two hands, but it's very easy to pull it out. The other clip, pull that one off. Oh, it's right there. Just push that, pull it out. Put a flat on it and just. Push it out. Put your 13 millimeter socket on here and a breaker bar. The other one is right down here. Same thing, 13 millimeter. Once both balls are loose, switch to a smaller ratchet. There's another bolt here and this one down here. Screw these. This one. As the door is getting looser, to make sure it's nice and supported. Take the screw off there. I'm going to take the screw off here. So this is the driver's side door before I take the door off. So I'm going to pick the door up and pull it to the left. And as you can see, this stud is what's in here. That's why, that's how the door is able to go in. When you put it back in, you'll just line up the stud here and the one down there when you put the door back on. I'm just gonna pick it up and push it to the left. That's it, okay, now put it down on here. Put it, on the it just pulls it off and it's, Glad I had this uh, card on your here to hold up this door. Otherwise it would have fallen and hurt me. So it's good to have a partner. And now that it's off, I can show you. This is the hinge mechanism. And it was, there's a screw up here and here. And then I had to use a 13 millimeter ratchet to get this off here, 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 and here. Just four screws, not hard, but the hardest part was actually pulling the wire off. Now, some of the other Chrysler 300 or Dodge Magnum doors might have this kind of uh, mechanism instead of the other one. This is much easier to get off as when you're taking it off, you literally are using a T50 Torx bit. And there's a T50 Torx head there. You'll just use that to unscrew it. One bolt there. One down here, and then you just pick up the door and pull it out. It's actually much easier, this mechanism. And the other nice thing is this mechanism, having this mechanism means uh, you won't hear like a clunking sound on your, uh, with that spring on the bottom right there. Let me know in the comments which hinge system you prefer. 
I bet it's the second one where you only need to take out one screw instead of four screws from the side. Now, if you're going to replace these hinges as well, what I would strongly recommend doing is once you take the door off, um, grab a pen or a pick marker and just make a line of this hinge all the way around for both of them. This way, when the door goes back on, it will line up and close perfectly. If this helped you so far, please subscribe. Now let's do the hinge. To remove the hinge from your car, use a 13 millimeter deep socket and a breaker bar or a ratchet just to break this loose. To make this process easier, probably should just use an extension piece. Then you can get in on there. Do that for the top and the other one right in there. So you have to get that one as well with a short 13 millimeter socket. Use a deep drive for this one. There we go. Be tricky depending on the angle, but you just gotta keep going. Not much space to get the hinge out, but just keep going and you'll be able to get it out. Okay, there we go. That's the other hinge. So the studs are gonna go, the top one goes here, and the other one goes down there on the bottom. I can now line up the door with the hinges. Keep, keep pushing it to the right. Yep, okay, wait, wait, we'll hold it there for a second, just so I can get the screw in. Okay. Got some one screw, it's the bottom one out. Grab the long screw and just screw it in for a little bit. Then, you kind of wiggle the top. Okay, good. Once you have the screws on, you're gonna put your connector and put it back in. Okay. Once you connect it and you verify that your door works, I'm just go ahead and push this back in. Torque all the bolts to 21 foot pounds. Okay. So, hopefully, this video helped you. If so, please like and subscribe. In summary, taking the door off was not hard. Keep in mind, it's heavy, so be safe and make sure you have all the tools mentioned in the description below. This should take no more than 45 minutes to do. Also, let me know your thoughts on this video, or if you have any questions on this door, or would like to mention something else to the other viewers. Until next time, always think how to save money and fix your car yourself.